I'm super excited to show you my new listing today here in Date City because it is my personal residence and I am looking forward to showing you all the reasons why you're gonna love this house. So let's go check it out. Heck yeah, Stacy. the first thing I noticed when I pulled up in the circle drive here is the house is beautiful, first and foremost. It has character, which not everything does anymore, um, including this grand foyer here. Like guys, I'm gonna take a step back. I know I'm getting away from, from, our, from our subject, our hostess here, but <laughs> look at this space. Yeah, it is a massive, it's very, it's a grand foyer, definitely. It's, it's so cool. What a cool space to kind of welcome guests in the house. Um, and then I'm gonna take you guys in, we're gonna check out uh, some of the lemming spaces here really quick. This is the formal dining room, obviously. And then over to our left, we have the living room. We're gonna get a full tour of that also. And then as we pan back across, um, we've got the kitchen over here and everything looks out on this incredible backyard space, which I know you are excited about, right? I can't wait to show you the reason why we fell in love with this house. And it's definitely the backyard. Absolutely, we're gonna go check that out. You guys are gonna love it. So where do you wanna head first? Let's head to the west wing of the house. All right, let's do it. So Stacy, as I was touring the home, one of the things I noticed right away is you got this beautiful wide format tile floor. Yes, we just uh, redid our floors at the end of last year. So we did the extra large wood plank floors, the hunting color floors, and we did it all throughout the house. Mm -hmm. So right here to the uh, right is the master bedroom. And it is a very large master bedroom. So you can tell I have a, a queen bed here, two a large um, end tables, and I have two large um, chests, like drawers. This the the irony of this space is all the furniture is oversized, and it all feels underwhelming. How big the room is! Yeah. Like you got really high ceilings in in the house already. I think we're nine or ten feet at least. Uh, ten feet. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, this bedroom is massive. So and it opens up to this gorgeous bathroom you have here. So tell us about this. Yes, we remodeled the master. So we did all new tiles here. We have a walk-in closet. Mm -hmm which is gonna be hard to give up because I just redid it. You did the one. <laughs> that, that is really nice. And I love it. Yeah. And this is my husband's closet here. We've oh, that's yours and this is his. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we won't open it because I kind of shoved everything yeah. in there. So we did the porcelain tile walls all the way up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a walk-in shower. Yeah. And we did his and hers um, vanities. So look at all these drawers. Yeah. I have eight drawers. He has eight drawers. <laughs> that is perfect. Are you filling them? That is my question. <laughs> oh, well, I definitely am. He may have a couple empty ones. Okay. But yeah. Understood. Yeah, no, but, so again, bedroom is massive, as you guys will get a sense of the space here. I mean, wow. It's, it's absolutely huge. Okay. Where are we headed to next? All right. Next, we'll go into the, um, it's an ensuite. It's my daughter's bedroom, but it's a great guest space too because you have a full bath yeah in here you also have there's a pocket door behind you there so you can shut that door and and close it off yeah i noticed that on on two of the spaces here you set up the same way yeah absolutely yeah, we have lots of pocket doors but again it's another huge bedroom i think it's um 16 by 18 well, All the bedrooms in this house are massive. Yeah, and that's a queen size bed. Yeah, and I don't mean just they're big, they're massive. Yeah. Every single one of them. Yeah, and we have uh, great windows too. If you notice, um, they're like the extra large windows. Mm -hmm. So there are custom windows. Love them. Gives you lots of light. Yep. And then down the hallway here, I have a coat closet. I have two more huge closets. <laughs> this house has tons of closets. And then here, again, we have a pocket door so you can close off this room. I use it as my office. Um, but again, I have another huge closet here. Yeah, this is a great space too. So this is on the west end of the house, you said. So um, this is a daylight right now. Um, it's midday, which is pretty nice because you don't have any like huge glare in the house that I noticed, like coming in, in in this space in particular. So it's a great space to, you know, if you've got to be the camera all the time for those Zoom calls, yeah. or if you just want quiet, you can come over on this end of the house too, which is wonderful. Yeah. So but you guys have plenty of space in this home. It's one of the things that I found fascinating about it. Yeah. So it's great. It was definitely built, you know, it was built in 1959. So it was built for people, families who entertain. 
Yeah. The Intel. Yeah. This huge over. Absolutely. Yeah. And we'll take the um, the thirty mile walk back to the other side. <laughs> I'm, ki- I'm kidding. Just joking. Um, I like I like a split floor plan first and foremost. Love a split okay. floor plan. But when you have this sense of space of you know, hey, we don't have to be right on top of each other all the time. I think that that's wonderful. So yeah. That's a really nice touch. We have another pocket door here. So if you need to like i use that as my office and and, you know we do lives on tuesday night and we do a lot of zoom meetings so i can just close this door off i can't hear the dogs barking and it's just fabulous as well so yeah so here we're gonna go into the family room you have the double doors with the the antique doorknob but huge huge room with fireplace because the sectional is not small. No. So it is uh, a giant room. Um, and I love the the pass-through fireplace too, Stacey. I think that that is a really nice touch. That definitely is something that is unique. Most houses don't have that. Yeah. If you can get a fireplace in Florida, it's actually a really nice bonus. Um, because we do get those cool nights. Um, you know, it doesn't snow here, thank the Lord. That's, yeah. why, that's why we live here. <laughs> But we do get those cool nights, and it's ha- it's wonderful to have a place that, that have it. Is it gas or natural wood? It's gas. Okay, awesome. Yep. So easy to maintain also, yeah, which is great. All right, so that's going to take us over into the dining room. And this this spot right here is the best lit. Um, it It's awesome. I love this dining room. It just feels open and airy, and it reminds me of everything. Like, if you're going to have a formal dining, like, you want yeah. a space that feels like this. Um, which is just beautiful. So talk to us about this. Again, you got the pass-through fireplace, which I thought is really cool also. And then um, how much has this meant to your family? Well, this is where we hang out. I mean, this is where we have our family dinners. And, you know, when everyone comes over, this is where we hang out because you're close to, you know, the outdoors. So we have the outdoor space and it opens. We have sliding glass doors to open up that space as well. Yeah, it's awesome. Close to the kitchen. Yep. So, yeah. And this kitchen has so much cabinet space. You yep. have um, a butler's pantry down here. Uh, we have an ice maker and an extra refrigerator. And we have a small island, too. So you can sit there and have the breakfast or your coffee. Yeah, it's a really nice space. Uh, it, those are There's two fridges over there I thought I saw. One's an ice maker. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big bonus. Okay. Now we're coming into a really cool spot in the home. Uh, this could be used a few different ways. I'll let you talk about that. But right now it's set up as a home office slash entertainment space, correct? Yeah. We use it as a game room uh, or office. My husband's using this space. So originally when we had, when we bought it, they had it set up as an in-law quarters. So they had like a full bed over here and then they still had space to set up a table and chairs Mm -hmm. and uh, a love seat and tv yep and you have your own uh door exterior door yep it goes outside there's plenty of ways to get in and out of the house (laughs) there are plenty of doors for sure absolutely and we also have a full bath yeah with a walk-in shower And that was something I noticed right away too. That was really nice. Uh, the laundry, if, for those of you wondering, because we won't be showing the laundry today, is behind this door right here. Door number one. Um, <laughs> it's behind door number one, which is great. And you have another closet. Yeah, this is a, a closet. I use it as my um, cleaning closet right now, but it does have a rods in it, so you could use it. As a- yep. And then the bathroom yep. to yep. your left. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So beautiful property here. Um, the house is uh, how many square feet in total? Four thousand seven hundred and nine. Just the little one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's meant for big families or big gatherings. Um, definitely built to entertain. I love how this house is put together. Uh, yeah. This is fantastic. All right, so we're gonna head in past the foyer again into another bedroom. Yeah. Now this bedroom, well, we converted it into a bedroom. It was originally a formal dining room. Oh. So, which is really. I would have loved to seen how they lived in it in the 50s yeah. because of the other dining, you know, the other dining room that we use mm-hmm. currently. But anyway, so it has these beautiful built-in bookshelves and we um, added a, a closet in here as well. Yep. But again, a huge, huge uh, bedroom. Yeah. One of the things that I will say about this house too, Stacey, it doesn't feel like 1959 in any way, shape or form. The house is very modern. 
Um, you guys have done a wonderful job of all of the, the, the renovations that you did here. Um, the home is gorgeous so far. Um, the only thing where I could tell a little bit of the age is the next space we're about to, to head to, which is another, <laughs> it, it, you didn't even need it. You got so much room in this house, yeah. but there's a really cool space um, that I'm going to allow you to show us next. Uh, let's Let me walk past this hallway and get past you here. Yeah. And then... It's actually my, um, it's a teenager's dream, actually. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> this is my son's room. Excellent. Yep. So it's a hidden door. Everyone, it's, no one knows it's here. They think it's a Harry Potter room. Yeah. So. All right, this is the hidden bedroom up the stairs. Like I said, it's a teenager's dream. Um, he hardly ever comes downstairs. So. But no, they, he loves it up here. It is a little dark up here. We added a window, um, obviously, for a fire hazard. He did not want me to add that window because he likes to game, so he likes the dark in here. But I would like for him to escape if it <laughs> <laughs> that was a smart move. I like that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. We also uh, put in a full um, bath up here. Yeah, beautiful shower in yeah. here, too. So. And for those of you wondering, Stacy is a um, a tall woman. She's not <laughs> sure. So when you saw that door, I want you to be aware that that is not a little space that she just yeah. went through here. So we did a, a tile shower mm -hmm. and um, with a little thing. Since he didn't have cabinets, we do this little tray, this little... Um, rolling tray for him and that works perfect awesome um, yeah and then on the other side he has a full closet that actually goes into the attic so you'll see this mini door and go into the yeah that one is small that goes into yeah. harry potter world or alice in wonderland somewhere that is going off to yeah and you do have to stand <laughs> here so you don't hit your head but, there you go yeah. but perfect for the teenagers or for somebody who wants to do escape um on a on a regular basis this room is is pretty awesome i was telling stacy when we got here um was when i was growing up as a kid that closet was as big as my first bedroom was and i had a lived in a bungalow with knee walls so i remember this handily okay we're gonna head downstairs um and outside and show you guys this incredible backyard space yeah i'm really excited about the space well hey there Hello. And this is the spot, right? This is the spot. And I agree because when I saw this place, I was like, wow, now I know why you bought the house. Yes, we fell in love with this backyard. I mean, this is one of the many reasons why we bought the house, but the backyard is just phenomenal yeah. the outdoor space is just great i agree and stacy let's talk one of the questions that people always ask when people move from places like this is why why would you leave someplace so beautiful right and they're always concerned that there's some underlying thing the reason why um you want to move but you've got a great reason so why don't yeah. you share with them why well it was it's been a very tough decision we've struggled with this for about a year but i have three kids and we're going to be empty nesters soon i have two daughters get married my youngest son he is going away to college so it's a huge house for just the two of us so we're going to downsize and simplify our life understood <laughs> i can i get in uh, it's one of those bittersweet things right this house is beautiful it's served your family incredibly well and then you know you got to make a decision to open space up for another family who's doing the same thing right yes ultimately so but this is it right this is the reason why that yeah. you made this decision and this outdoor space the landscaping in this house is gorgeous Stacey. i know it's the palm trees and this is exactly yeah. what i think right yep. beautiful landscaping you've got shrubs all the way around you got privacy everywhere and um all along the back side of this fence there's a vinyl fence behind that too correct me yeah. wrong yeah there's a fence back there and you've got the shrubs it's just beautiful and you guys the pergola, the outdoor dining spaces, this old home has character and it doesn't feel like it's been um, abused or worn. Like you said, you saw this home. It's beautiful on the inside. Great yard here um, for the dogs, which you have a couple. Yes, I have two dogs. So this has treated them well also. <laughs> yeah, plenty of room to run around. They love to play ball. So we're out here every day throwing the ball. Yeah, absolutely. We're in Dade City, Florida. And... Um, it's square footage is 4,709 square feet. It's um, a five bedroom, four bath. You could use it as a six if you'd like, um, but we use it as a four bedroom with a bonus room and an office. 
and we'll put the pricing information in the description down below along with Stacy's contact info so you can reach out to her directly to schedule a time to see this beautiful property. Uh, there's a few other things I want to make note of the area. Yeah. Um, driving in, uh, Publix was literally five minutes away from here, um, which if you're not from Florida, you need Publix in your life. Beautiful grocery store. You're going to love it there. Um, how far are we away from uh, Murata in San Antonio? Yeah, so we are about 10 to 15 minutes from actually to the interstate, which is right where Murata is. Yep. So Dade City is a really unique town um, because we're kind of centrally located because you're in between Orlando and Tampa. You can get to Orlando if you take the back roads. Um, it takes about an hour, depending on what part of Orlando you're going to. And then you're 50 minutes to Tampa and about an hour and a half to the beach. So it's really, you have um, easy access to 75. There's two highways that can get you into Tampa and into Orlando. So it's a great little town. You're gonna get that small town um, charm when you see our downtown area, which is just a half a mile down the street. So you can definitely walk there. You're not gonna find any like big box uh, chain stores or restaurants here in Dade City with the exception of Publix. Um, everything is small family businesses. We have our own brew house downtown. We have a wine library, an ice cream shop, several restaurants. I mean, we've got a Mexican restaurant, Italian restaurant, um, Cafe Copapelli, if you've heard of them before, they're well known in Tampa. And we have a farmhouse cafe where they um, serve local produce and meat. And they actually have a, um, a farmer's market in the back end of their store. And they also sell merchandise like farmhouse decoration there as well. So. That's excellent. And what about the schools, Stacey? The schools are Pasco High School and Pasco Middle. They have some great programs there. Um, there are There's a Cambridge program here at the Pasco High School. Um, my son was part of that, and he did uh, very well there. Great opportunities. Um, Pasco County, I can't talk enough great things about Pasco County Schools because they have so many great programs for you because, um, you know, one program isn't for everyone. So they give you lots and lots of options. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And y'all, this has been an awesome tour. Why don't we head back inside? Um, it's been an incredible tour and it's a, uh, it's fun for me to be able to actually host and, uh, you know, be part of the, the team that launches this video for you, Stacey. So um, I'm grateful for it. But if this isn't the home for them, which I don't know why it wouldn't be, let's say you need something just a little bit smaller, right? With a, how do they get hold of you? Well, you can reach out on my Instagram at stacy.amen.realtor or um, you can reach out on Facebook. You can DM me there as well. That's right. And all the team's contact information, of course, is listed below. There's even a link to our calendar so you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you, of course. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.